Hey guys, MTG New back um, on the draw. Um, uh, being that I'm on the draw, I might keep this hand since it has a victim of right and it has a very strong late game. So let's do that. Um, if I don't hit lands three and four, I'm going to be really kind of annoyed at myself, but maybe this grave crawler will go all the way. And here he goes. Such a cutie. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against John. That's probably a far seek. So, I don't know if John's a favorable matchup. I know our deck is like one of the tier 1 decks. Uh, this is 4 color John, obviously, now. If it is still John. Um, we will bash. And that's a pretty good draw for us. I think I'm just going to play this now and not take the life loss. Our hands is a little bit slow, but we knew that coming in. We got to hope to get lucky here and just make him whiff. That doesn't matter for us. Human. Pilgrim, sure. Another messenger. Alright, let's keep the beats. I don't think in this current state we kill the pilgrim. Although, don't get me wrong, I'd love to kill the pilgrim. Hmm. I guess this is going to be annoying. I don't really want to spend my whole turn victim of knighting that. Okay, we'll just play out this guy. Put him in a 16. And we'll see if a Thrag Tusk is waiting in the wings. That's a big boy. We're we're off to the races apparently. Okay, if he didn't swing there, I'd find it odd that he might have faith shield. All right, so we are definitely going to be doing this, and no questions asked. Swinging. And killing this now because we really don't want him to resto angel it and then just beat the crap out of us. Not too pleased to see that. Um, see what he decides to do. That's not good either. I mean, his hand has been, I guess, pretty good, and we whiffed on our land, so I'm not too thrilled about that. Searing Spear A, Governor. Alright, let's messenger it up, I guess. Really makes no sense not to swing with the Grave Crawler, since the Grave Crawler is not going to block anyone anyway. Okay, so he'll be taking two. And we'll be playing out this other messenger and putting him to 12. And then if we hit a land, we'll be looking real strong. Oh, that's terrible for us. Because now he's got an angel. That goes by, that goes by, that goes by, and we need to draw a victim of night. Or else we are dead. He didn't need to. I guess he did need to. Wow, that was a good top deck, I guess. So now we need the top deck. And he's getting dragged us back, which is, I guess, smart. 
no need to, I guess, get this back. All right, so our outs are that, which is not one of them. We needed a come into play untapped to land there. I wonder if we're dead. Let's see. He can do it for four. Seven, eight, twelve. Well, let's let him do it. Unfortunately, we could put him to one. So he's got five, eight, nine. He's going to probably wolf run. Alright, so what could he have? The fact that he's not pumping makes me think he's got something else, but I'm going to go to two. Uh, somebody's got a case of the runs goods. Runner, runner dudes. And we get a messenger, so let's see, we could swing, we could block this, but he's just going to trample over. Yep. That was not fun. Not fun at all. Okay. So we want bonfire, he's definitely creature based. Conscript seems good. Nighthawks seem good as well. I don't think I want connections. Don't think I want flames. I don't think this flame should be here. Cremates, okay. An appetite for brains seems pretty good, but as we brought it in that first matchup, it wasn't amazing. We're still on the play. I don't really want to dilute the deck again. I think we need the bonfires. I don't think we need these Nighthawks. Uh, I think those are more for aggro versus aggro. These get chumped on the ground. But stealing a 5-5 five, five, or 3-3 three, three is pretty strong. Victim of Night has to be good enough removal here. I like Pillar. We took it out before and then we saw that he had Pilgrim. Our deck's just not doing what we want it to do. I don't think I could play all these fives. I'm going to play all these fives. Do I not play this? This seems like it's going to get chumped too easy. That's still so many fives. I think I'd rather have a Thunder Mohawk Kite. Since it taps down its flyers. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll try to run this and I think we'll be mulling this hand. Yes. This is not better. This is also a mull. This is not a mull. But we are down technically three cards, so we're going to have to get insanely lucky here. And that's a pillar. So... Yep. Okay, well, at least we've got messengers on three, so that's good. Three and four. Maybe we'll hit a land and owl rider. That would be sexy. Grave crawler, you are too slow. But if we hit a land, we could go grave crawler next turn. And messenger. No pillar, no pillar, no pillar, no pillar. Don't have your second pillar. Sporterland Ranger. Okay. These four color mid range decks are a little bit hard for the aggro deck to play against, I would say. Hmm. 
So we bonfire him for two. I'm gonna go with no. I think that's wrong, but... We're gonna hit him for two anyway here. When he rebuys, we rebuy our guy. And then we'll drop another one and drop him to 12. And we'll pass the turn. Hopefully no hunt master, but I would say it's pretty obvious he's got a hunt master. And there's our stupid rival. Cavern of Souls. We're naming Zombie, not Yeti. Hmm. So he probably trades here, takes four. We still have a lot of pressure on. The way we get, like, murdered here is if he's able to reset this with an angel which I'd say is pretty likely try not to be a downer guys but this event is not going well these decks are just very difficult to beat here comes a thrag tusk hopefully he just overextends with the pilgrim I mean, if he has nothing this turn, we just get to kill him. If we draw land. Alright, so he's going to bash. He's going to flip. Shoot my grave crawler. Probably rebuy with an angel. Go to 10. I'll be a little bit behind. But if he does nothing here, he's dead. I mean, I have to crash no matter what. Don't tap this. I'm not letting him, but he's tapping it anyway. I tried. Why aren't you instant speed bonfire? Okay, so we trade. Now the question is, is it worth it just to blow this up? I think it is. And just make him have it. All right, you're at eight. Have something else. We can't just keep letting him uh, do his thing with Huntmaster repeatedly. No Thrag Tusk. No Thrag Tusk. No Thrag Tusk. For some reason I want to play Slaughter Games. I feel it would be uh, pretty strong. No Thrag Tusk. Alright. No two Borderland Rangers. I'd love to just go. Boom. Bonfire. Okay, that's going to be very annoying. Bonfire? Fuck you, Cavern of Souls. Fuck you. Cavern of Souls, you're a piece of shit. Excuse my language. Oh, now we're just letting him in the game. Just jump. Just jump. If I had a sweeper, I would sweep. This guy's gonna do work, man. 
We're still ahead, but he's going to do work. I wonder if he's got a charm here. That would be bad. He did leave it up. I'm just going to hold this, but I, I was debating um, bonfire math, and I would still technically kill him even if he used that. Okay, plus he's got a wolf run. There's so many things that go on here where this turn goes poorly. But let's find out. How does this turn go poorly for us? Oh, we're doing our work as best as I can. I mean, recall this game, we are in a multi five, so. I don't know what this is. Excuse me. Okay. Seems like something's getting blocked. Okay, that's getting blocked and then responded to. So as soon as this goes in the bin, he'll remove it. We'll play this. Okay, I guess not. Guess we have priority still. I don't know if he could remove it in response. It's already being played now. I guess he can. That was weird. Okay, so you go to four. I have enough power to technically kill him. However, he's really at least at six. Tell her that. Why didn't he pillar this? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Why didn't he pillar that? Oops. Sorry about that. It's very interesting. Okay, so he removes a Borderland Ranger, and I don't know why he <laughs> pillared not the messenger. So I'm guessing he has an angel, but I still have to swing. Breaking on land here is pretty annoying. Here comes the stupid angel. Or another Celestia charm. I still don't think that was played right. But this death right shaman obviously is doing work as we can't close the deal with our inability to draw relevant cards. Okay, so trades here. That's another four life for him. He goes to three. Kinda wish I had a finisher in hand. But now he's back up to five. And he's gotta be biding his time till something. That's funny. 
Alright, well, we're officially breaking pretty hard. It just seems like he's always got an answer. I mean, I honestly wish I could do something other than this. I mean, maybe I should have figured that's why he didn't remove this, but I think he would just still remove it. I mean, I guess because earlier he couldn't. Okay, remove it with the trigger on the stack. Yep. Be at 5. I'll play a Blood Crypt. He'll be at 7. So many creatures still. One, two, three, four. Death right shaman's a beating when nothing else is happening. Hopefully we end up uh drawing something. Oh that's a th alright, that's that I don't care about. Alright, we can still almost kill him. It's gonna be funny, I'm gonna be able to bonfire for six. Because I haven't played this land. You'll see. You'll see how it goes. Well, now I can bonfire for seven. Hopefully he wasn't just waiting there. That would be annoying. I'm just insanely flooded here. Sure. Oh, he's just doming me? That's aggressive. I guess he feels he's got to do something, right? Does have a lot of gas in the yard, too. I guess you swing with this. Two, three, four. Hit me for four. Dome me. Put me to eight. Yep. You go for it. I'll pretend like I can do something. One more. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One, two, three, four. I think I'm dead. I'm not gonna play this land. Didn't think on the mold of five. We have ten lands. His lands are good because he has this. Ten lands, five spells. That's a lot of flooding. There's no reason he should have won this game. I'm trying to think back on what I could have done differently. I guess not bump into the death right shaman. Alright, so throw it up for five. Kill me. Please. I don't even think this one has really been... Yep, do it for five. Do, 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 do. I gotta make him kill me last time he didn't do it for full value. Okay, yep. And now you get to kill me. Aren't you a good guy at magic? Because you have a death rate shaman. <laughs> Good game. Good. Oh, there's all the cards that I play in this deck. There they are. Wow, this this would have done some wonders earlier on. But even so, this would have eventually killed me. Anything plus this is a beating. All right, so currently we're O2 and we're a little bit aggravated. But uh, if you stick around, maybe they'll be around three. Thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.